everyone, it's Jordan, and today I'm going to be recommending books to read on a snowy day. Since winter is coming and it snowed a few days ago in Illinois, I just thought I would recommend some books for you guys to read on a snowy day. So, let's get started. The first book I recommend is The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. It's about this girl whose parents got divorced and her mom thought it would be best if she and her brother spends the summer with her dad and she finds ways to avoid her dad in the summer until she met Will who she didn't expect to fall in love with. I really enjoyed this book. This is one of my favorite Nicholas Sparks books and if you guys are looking for a romance to read on Snowy Day, I would definitely recommend this. The next book I'm recommending is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. It's about this hobbit who goes on a journey with a bunch of dwarves and a wizard. I've read this last month. Well, it took me two months to read it because of school. But anyways, I really enjoyed The Hobbit. It's one of my favorite. It became one of my favorite fancy books of all time. And... It just making me think of winter for some reason. Or um, I'm I'm a mood reader, so I usually don't know what books I'm in a mood for. Sometimes I I'm in a mood for fantasy, so I would recommend this book. The next book I'm recommending um, with um, no shocking here is Harry Potter and a Sorcerer's Stone by J J K Rowling. I love the Harry Potter series, and if you guys know what Harry Potter is about, probably don't have to worry about it. If you guys are watching this video and have no clue what Harry Potter is, I don't know where you've been, and you should definitely pick this book up, but they always play um, Harry Potter movies on Harry Potter weekend in the wintertime, and it just makes me think of... Harry Potter, so I definitely want to reread this soon. I don't know the series soon. I don't know when, but I really hope I will. The next book I'm recommending is *The Beast Within* by Serena Valentinko. I I don't know who the author is. Doesn't say on the cover, but this is um a tale about um. The beast when he turns into a beast, this is like Disney's being a beast, but with the beast perspective. And this is one of the Disney villains book series that have been around. And I have not read Ferris of All, which is um, about the evil queen, unfor poor unfortunate soul, about Ursula, and the one. Literally just came out is Mistress of All Evil, which is about Maleficent. But I really want to read those books, and I have to tell you, I read this book within a day, and I really enjoyed it. I could not put it down. I got this at Disney World, and I read this on my way home from my trip, and I just really love this book. Beauty and the Beast has been one of my favorite Disney movies of all time, and I, I just love this book so much, and I couldn't recommend it enough. The next book I'm recommending is Percy Jackson and the Olympians: The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. It's about this boy who discovers that she, or he, she, he is a. a Son of Poseidon, and and pe and some people are claiming him as the thief, but he is, but he is not the thief. So he has to search for the the Zeus's lightning bolts and find out who's the thief, as obviously, and and rescue his mother from Hades. So I have read the Percy Jackson series. But I have not finished this series 
yeah, shame on me on this one, but I've read the first two books. I haven't read the rest of the series or the spin-off series, which I really want to. But, oh my gosh, it's not like I don't like the series. Please, don't get me wrong. I just haven't been in the mood to read the rest of the series, so I hope I am going to reread the first two books and then go on with a series on the... Uh, until the end. <laughs> the next book I recommend is Everland by Winnie Spinelli. This is a Peter Pan retelling. It's about this girl who she finds out that she's in a mean, but the Captain Hook in this one is after her, her so she would cure everybody from this disease. And I I love this book, and I did a review on this book. If you want to know more of my thoughts, I'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. And I cannot recommend this book enough, just because I love, I love this book. I'm sad that it's going to be a trilogy, but I'm really excited to read Umberland and Ozland. The last book I'm recommending is The Princess Diaries by Mae Cabot. It's about this girl who is just an awkward teena teenager and she finds out that she's the next line of the, thr the throne to Genovia. And I've been, I'm reading this series right now while well, I've been on off of it, but I really, I've been, gr I grew up watching it the movies and I'm curious about the sequels of the books even though the movie didn't follow it very well so I rec if you're looking for a soft short contemporary book I would recommend this book so that's all of the books that I recommend during on a snowy day if you guys like it give it a thumbs up and comment down below what books you would read on a snowy day or recommend me some books cuz I'm creating my creating my December TBR right now, so I hope to hear your um, thoughts and some of the books that you recommend to me. And if you want to follow me, I have Facebook under The Lost Reader and Twitter and Instagram under Lost Reader 19. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!